Hi, my name is John Vidal, chef proprietor of North Branch Gourmet, located in Chicago, specializing in Windy City style barbecue sauces, savory jams, and a couple spice rubs. We're with Kendall College and National Lewis University again in my backyard. We're gonna do a demo on smoked chickens. It's pretty easy and I'm gonna walk you through. In order to get started, I'm gonna walk you through what type of supplies and equipment we're gonna need. So in order to get the smoked birds ready for service, uh, we're gonna brine them. So we're gonna need a food storage equipment, like a cambro like this. Uh, obviously we'll need some salt and a little bit of smoke, uh, sea salt rub that we've got. We're gonna be using North Branch's Windy City Smoke Rub. Then we're gonna use the Sweet Low and Slow Smoke Rub to cut through that saltiness. We've got our barbecue sauces. We've got some hickory smoke chunks and some oak chunks. Lighter fluid, charcoal, gloves, towel, cutting board, uh, whisk for the brine. And lastly, our chickens. We're gonna create our brine. Um, it's very basic. We're just gonna start with some water, some hickory smoke sea salt rub, which is our smoke rub, Windy City. And then we're gonna use our hickory smoke low and slow rub, which is with the turbinado sugar. We're gonna make a half gallon brine. Depending on how many birds you have, you just wanna make enough brine in order to submerge your chickens. So we're gonna start out with two ounces of our hickory smoked smoke rub. We're gonna add another two ounces of our low and slow uh, turbinado sugar rub. Just gonna whisk to combine. I'm gonna take one of our chickens, we're gonna submerge it overnight. 12 to 24 hours is best. So it's been about 12 to 24 hours, uh, leaving the chickens overnight and the brine is best. Really able to penetrate that meat and be able to add moisture as we cook and smoke it for the next couple hours. Just gonna let it drain off a little bit, get all that excess moisture off. Take a towel, paper towel, Dry off that skin in order to get it a little crispy and then let the spice rub that we're gonna toss them in adhere. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use our North Branch uh, low and slow smoke rub that we also blended with a little bit of the smoked sea salt rub that we have um, for a little bit of that sweet and savory flavors that we're going for. Uh, and we're just gonna coat them on both sides. So this is our 55 gallon barrel drum smoker that we used, um, actually built it with a friend of mine. Uh, it's perfect for chicken, ribs, anything low and slow, brisket, you name it, it's perfect for that. So we're gonna start, we're gonna set up our coals in a nice pyramid. This uh, fire basket I have, we're gonna fit 20 coals in each side. We're just gonna use some lighter fluid to start it, and we're just gonna ignite it. Once these get lit, we're just gonna put them in the bottom fire pit. And we'll be ready to cook in about 15, 20 minutes. We got our charcoals lit, nice and gray all over. I put the oak and hickory chunks on there. I think it's gonna complement the uh, smoked chickens really well. We're looking at about 250 to 275 degrees on this barrel smoker. A little higher just for chickens, obviously temperature danger zone, we wanna get out of it as soon as possible. It'll still crisp up the skin very nice and because we brined, we're gonna be able to keep the meat intact and nice and moist on the inside. All right, so we're about at about 275 right now on this pit barrel smoker. I'm gonna take the lid off. I'm gonna clean the grates just, you know, with a basic grill scraper that you can get at a Home Depot, Ace, wherever. Any food debris that's left over from your previous cook, you're just cleaning off the grates. Um, so you're placing your chicken on a nice clean grate. We also have a second grate on the bottom that has our uh, water bath, obviously. So uh, as the meat's cooking, no fat drips on uh, the coals directly. 
and allow, doesn't allow any flare-ups, anything like that. We got our barrel smoker ready to go. Uh, I put our hickory and oak chips on there. As you can see, a lot of good smoke, a lot of good flavors coming out of that. We're gonna take our half birds and we're just gonna place them indirectly on our grill. We're gonna allow them to smoke about two to two and a half hours. We're looking for an internal temperature at 165 and then we'll take them off around there. We'll gauge it. It needs a couple extra minutes. We'll let it cook a little longer. Well, it's been about two and a half hours. We started at 275 degrees, gradually stayed for about two and a half hours, around 250. We're gonna take the lid off. We're gonna take a temp on this chicken. We're looking for an internal temperature at 165 and these birds are ready. Well, the chickens were cooking for about two and a half hours at 250, 275. These are the results. Now, I let them rest after I took them off. And they were temped at 165 internal temperature, so you know that they're cooked through. Now we're gonna carve them up and we're gonna show them to you. There you have it. We smoked these birds for about two and a half hours, around 250, 275 degrees. We tempt it to an internal temperature, 165, so you know all poultry uh, is cooked through at that temp. We're serving it here with some pit beans with a little molasses on our Windy City style barbecue sauce. And we have a little napple slaw, which is a sweet chili spiked uh, mayo based uh, coleslaw with napple cabbage and savoy cabbage. Um, it's really nice and light to be able to cut through any of the richness of the chicken, um, but it pairs really well with the oak and hickory smoked bird. Uh, I just want to thank Kendall and National Lewis University again for allowing me to have another backyard demo. Uh, I had a lot of fun uh, this time around and I uh, hope you enjoy your summer.